Microsoft has recently released a OneNote Clipper that you can add to any of the web browsers that you currently use, whether it's Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. And what this does is it will create a little icon on your browser so that you can clip any article that is on the web and insert it directly into one of your OneNote notebooks for your students. Now obviously you've been doing this for a while and there are ways to do it just by copying and pasting a web link and putting it into the notebook, but what this tool does, is the advantage is, is it will take an article and will sort of neaten everything up and it will take out ads and everything. So I'm going to show you an example and then I'll show you how to download it to your browser. So let's say for instance this is an article about the Civil War and women's role in the Civil War and you can see it's got a lot of good information but it also has a lot of ads on it. So I could direct my students to go to this website by putting this link in my notebook. However, I can also just take the text using this web clipper tool and put it right into my notebook. So this is Google Chrome that I'm on right now and I've already installed the web clipper and it will show up in the browser anytime I'm on this device on Google Chrome. So when I click on clip to webnote what it's going to do it's going to open up this little icon over here and it's going to ask me how do I want this article to, to appear. The full page the default will take the page as is which means it will include all of the ads. However if I go down to article you can see it has now changed it so that it has only taken the text and the important pictures relevant to the article. It has taken out all of the ads. Usually it works very, very well. You have another option here that says region, which would allow you to actually click and drag and just take a portion of it. But the article feature is a really nice feature because it neatens it up and you also have the ability over here at the top to add any notes to this. So if you wanted to give the students directions on what to read or to highlight or anything like that, you can put that in there and it will also include the link to the entire article. So once you've got the article the way you want it to go into your notebook, what you're going to do is you're going to be asked to sign into Office 365 just once, which I've already done, and that will load all of your notebooks. So now I can go down to the notebook that I want to put this in, and I can choose where I want to put it, let's say in my content library, and I have a section already dedicated to Civil War. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click Clip. So once it's done, I'm going to go over, if I click view in OneNote, it's going to open the online version. I want to see it in my full notebook. So right now I am in that notebook and I'm on the Civil War tab. It hasn't put done a complete sync yet. And now you can see it just appeared on this page. So if I click on here, you can see that article has been clipped. It includes all the links. Those links are live. And it has the article, but now in a neater format for my students to read. So how do you get this onto your device? So the first thing you're going to do is either in Firefox or Chrome, whichever browser you use, you are going to go to the following website, onenote.com slash clipper. And all you're going to do is click on this, and you're going to click Add to Firefox. And it should just take a second. And then you're going to click Install. So now you can see I have a little new icon in my Firefox toolbar. So the first time you go to use this, so let's say for instance we're going to clip this article again, I click on this and for the very first time you do need to sign in to associate this icon, this little add-in with your notebook. So you're going to choose sign in with a work or school account and this will just prompt you to log in with your Office 365 credentials and again, you should only have to do this once on the actual device you're working on. If you work on more than one device, you will have to do this process again and click Sign In. And once you've done that, it'll take a few seconds, but all notebooks that are stored in your Office 365 account will load here, and you'll be able to choose what notebook and what section you want this article to go in. And again, you can choose how you want it to appear, either by article, bookmark would just put the link, um, but article is a really good nice feature to use and again put it anywhere you want and it should be ready to go for your students to read and that's about it